Hi DIYers, welcome back to the channel once again. Thank you so much for joining. Please take a moment and click that subscribe button down below, you guys. And all of my DIYers, old and new, please take a moment to check to make sure that your post notification bell, that little silhouette bell, is clicked and it is turned to the all position so that you're notified of all of the videos that I will put out. So today's DIY, you guys, I'm bringing to you a budget-friendly home decor DIY using some Dollar Tree items. You guys, I think this is a very simple DIY. It's going to be easy to recreate, and I hope you guys love it. If you do, tell me down in the comment section below. Give me a thumbs up, and I'm asking you guys all to share this video with all of your family, your friends, and on your social media sites. So let's get started with today's DIY. To get started, you guys, we're going to use these items from the Dollar Tree. These are the wider size um, of the smoky gray boulders. Last time I used a smaller size one and we're going to use these candlestick holders here also from the dollar tree we'll use some of the bling wrap from the dollar tree and this right here is not from the dollar tree but i will be also using these gems here along with some of this gem glue as well okay the first thing you want to do is make sure you remove all of the stickers from the bottom of your votive candles candle holders okay so you want to get all of the gunk off so now I'm going to take, and this is simple, you guys. We're just going to take and um, we're going to glue this down to here like that. Simple, easy to recreate. We are all about the simple DIYs. Now, you guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the permanent glue that you need to use to bond your pieces together. However, I will not be using them today because I am going to want to use these um, votives on another DIY that I really, really want to do. But I just want to share with you different ways that you can use these. Okay, so um, normally you will add your permanent glue on here along with your hot glue. So we will pretend that we just put the permanent glue on there and now we will be adding the hot glue as well. But to make it permanent, you need to add the permanent glue. So be sure to remember that. And we're just going to put it right on top of our candle holder. And press it down. Okay. And voila. Very cute, right? Okay. So we're going to set that to the side. And we're going to do the same for the next one. Except we're going to take two candle holders this time and we're going to stack them up like so. To give it some height. Okay, so we're going to again use our permanent glue on here. And then we're going to use our hot glue as well to bond the pieces together. Line them up. Give them a press. So now you have this piece together, okay? And once you have that together, we're gonna to take our next candle holder and <clears throat> we're going to glue it down in here like this. Okay, now this one's a little tricky because the best thing you can do is get is plenty of glue on the bottom of here. Again, to make it permanent, use your permanent glue on here. And then you will take and use your hot glue as well. And you want to use an ample amount of the hot glue on here for it to stick like it should down in here on the sides okay and then you want to just sit it right down in there as straight as you possibly can 
press it down for a couple of seconds as the glue solidifies. I hope you guys are having an amazing day so far. It is Monday, it is partly cloudy, where the sun is coming in and out, um, but it's very pleasant. It definitely can tell fall weather has finally arrived here in the Carolinas, and I'm enjoying that. However, I'm not looking for the cold weather. <laughs> so once that's solidified, then you have your candle holder like this, okay? So we're gonna sit that to the side. And our last candle holder, we want to recreate one exactly like this. So simply just recreate that by adding the glues and put it on there like that. You should have you a beautiful set of candle holders like this. Now, you guys, if you want to stop here and just go and let this be your creation and put some beautiful tea lights in the inside, by all means, you can stop here. Some people don't like a lot of bling, don't like to do a lot of them two things and think uh, sometimes less is more which is true but in this case we're going to do a little more um so you can create this and let this be it and it will have been a seven dollar set as beautiful as it is you guys i i think it's beautiful you can pair it with um some nice plates on a table or with some florals or anything like that to jazz it up a little bit more okay but for the rest of the DIY, what we're going to do is add some bling. I'm going to take my little rhinestones here. Now, these are not from the dollar store. However, dollar store do have rhinestones. They have these rhinestones, which are the sticker rhinestones. And you can also, on their site, find regular rhinestones that are like this, um, but a little bit bigger. These I order online, if you're interested in knowing where. So, you can take these rhinestones and you can just design your glass any kind of way you want and so that's basically what i'm going to do i'm going to take this gem glue and i am just simply going to make a design on the glass and add my gems so i made a design like that and I'm gonna go around. Now this, you guys, is a wax stick. Uh, it just helps me be able to pick up my gems. And I just stick it right on there. So you'll just see me pick up my gems. And I will add it on here. Get a lot closer so you guys can see what I am doing. Okay, so I don't know if you can see. But that is one part of it. And then I'm just going to do the stems on this side the same, okay? Okay, so now I am going to try to freestyle on this longer one, um, a W, which is the initials for my last name. Um, so, 
I am just going to take the glue and I don't want to use a lot so I'm going to try to get as much of it to spread kind of like that okay and then I'm going to add the gems like I was doing beforehand like this okay so they're drying right now but now we're going to use this here and we're going to add a little bit more bling to our candle holders I'm just going around creating a design that I'm happy with. Okay. So we're going to put a trim around the top of these and then I will show you the end of what I created. DIYers, if you were able to stay to the end of this video, thank you very, very much. I am so grateful. So I wanted to remind you guys very quickly of the Christmas craft challenge that myself and DIY Glam are hosting. I wanted to just do a reminder to remind you guys that it is an open collab invite. So those of you who want to participate, please do. You can find all of the information that you need to participate in this collaboration down in the description box. I will leave a link to that video. Also, you guys, we are going to go live October 26th at 7 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time with a playlist full of Christmas craft DIYs trying to inspire you guys and kick off the holiday season. So I hope to see you guys back here for another amazing DIY really, really soon. Until next time, peace, love, and blessings. Bye-bye.